Question one, how do you hope to turn a profit in your business if your employees keep making the same repetitive mistakes over and over again that cut into your profits? You can't. Question two, how do you come to work every single day and maintain your sanity when you see your juniors making the same mistakes in spite of you having taught them? You can't. Question three, how do employees who make the same mistake time and time again in spite of being trained ever hope to get promoted? They can't. If you're here because you're frustrated with your employees making the same mistakes over and over again, well, you're in the right place. But before I go into two minutes of knowledge, I want to tell you the why behind this happens. There could be two fundamental problems in the situation. First, the person might not have the right aptitude for the job, meaning that they might not just be smart enough. And second, realize that short-term memories are limited. When somebody is learning something from you with the best of intentions, when they walk away, do realize that it just might not be sinking in. If that's a problem, we'll learn how to fix that one. But there could be a third one as well. You know, sometimes people are just lazy, unmotivated, or they might have the wrong intentions, but we're gonna rule those out for now. So let's put two minutes on the clock and I'm gonna give you a few ways so you can break free from this frustration. Number one, the solution is within the cause. When you hired this person, did you do an aptitude test? Did you do an IQ test? Did you see if they're actually smart enough for the role? And secondly, did you do a comprehension test? You know, one of the tests we do is a basic letter writing test when we hire people. Now we give them a sample letter and we say, you know what, create your own thoughts, but your format of the letter has to be exactly like this. Now we get to see whether the person can actually even copy that format and you'll be surprised that about 80% of people wildly stray away from it and they have no real explanation why. Now that gives you a good insight that whether or not this person is even trainable or not, it's not the only test, but it's the beginning of you understanding that person's psyche. Number two, get people to write down their trainings that they learned from you in a special diary, in a special place, and tell them they are required as part of their job to keep going over the things that you have taught them time and time again on their own time. Three is similar to number two, get people to write their mistakes in the diary. Use the same diary. Start from the back this time and you'll be surprised how much people learn from their mistakes, how seldom they repeat their mistakes if they've written their mistakes in detail because you told them with the context, with the whole story around where and when the mistake happened, they will learn from their mistake much faster than they otherwise would have. Number four, realize that your trainings are gonna get a little bit longer as time goes on because you're gonna ask somebody in the training that, hey, why don't you revise one of the previous trainings, get them to prepare ahead of time, of course, and it's their their job to actually summarize what they learned in the previous training. They're summarizing not just for themselves but for everybody else and it'll keep hammering in your points. Number five, as soon as you see a problem, get somebody in your staff to put it in the standard operating procedures or work instruction manuals, whatever you call them. That gives you an excellent return on investment, an excellent return on time. Don't just stop and start correcting problems right then and there. Get it written down first and then train people. You're going to make sure that your trainings will live on long after you've taught the one person the one time. Number six is have excellent standard operating procedures and excellent work instruction manuals and make sure you build this into their salary increment and make sure that it's a requirement for their job. Well, that's it, time's up. I have a bonus tip for you. It's called learn, practice, and teach. When somebody learns something, realize that they're only getting about a 10% mastery of the concept, and that's why they keep making the same mistake over and over again. But when they practice that, then they make less mistakes because practicing gives you a 70% mastery of the topic, and that's pretty good if you watch them in an ideal situation. But if they teach something, Teaching gives a person an additional 80% mastery of the topic and that's pretty crazy because you might be wondering, hey Golraj, is your math wrong because that's 160%? Yes it is because when somebody learns practice and teaches something, what happens is their mastery of the topic goes above and beyond what you were even able to teach them and now they're going to be able to teach you a thing or two but they'll never make the same mistake again. And now you know how to help your staff not make the same mistake again. That'll make you happy, but that'll also make them pretty happy. Do hit the like button if you liked any of these ideas. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you part of our family. Thank you for joining me on this two minute journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the channel. Thank mm -hmm. you.